This video is all about units of heat energy. We're going to talk about how to convert from one unit to another. So let's work on this problem. Convert 500 joules into calories. Now you need to know the conversion factor. One calorie is 4.184 joules. So given that information, how can we convert joules into calories? So start with what you're given. In that case, that's 500 joules. Now, in the next fraction, you want to put the unit joules on the bottom so that it's going to cancel. So there's 4.184 joules for each calorie. So all we need to do in this example is simply take 500 and divide it by 4.184. So the answer is 119.5 calories. That's equal to 500 joules. Now let's work on the second example. How many food calories are equivalent to 750 kilojoules of heat energy? So we need to convert kilojoules into food calories, which is different than the other calories that we were talking about. In this case, it's a capital C. So what I think we should do is convert kilojoules to joules, and then joules to lowercase calories, and then lowercase calories to capital calories. So let's start with 750 kilojoules. So to convert kilojoules to joules, you need to know the conversion factor. One kilojoule is equal to 1,000 joules. So that's the first thing that you need to know. So I'm going to put one kilojoule on the bottom and 1,000 joules on top so that these units cancel. Now, based on the last example, we know that one lowercase calorie is 4.184 joules. So I'm going to put joules in the bottom and then one calorie on top. Now the last conversion that we need is that one food calorie is a thousand lowercase calories. So we could put that on the bottom here. Now, we have a 1,000 on top and on the bottom, so we could just cancel those two numbers. A 1,000 divided by 1,000 is 1, so it's just going to be 750 divided by 4.184. And so 750 kilojoules is equal to 179.3 food calories. So let's try this one. A certain cheeseburger contains 700 food calories. How many joules of chemical energy is stored in this food? So go ahead and try this problem. So we need to convert food calories to lowercase calories, and then we could convert that to joules. So we have 700 food calories. And one food calorie is 1,000 calories. And one calorie, we know it's 4.184 joules. And so that's how we can convert it. So it's going to be 700 times 1,000 times 4.184. So one cheeseburger has 2,928,800 joules of chemical energy stored into it. That's a lot of energy to burn. And so that's the answer. Now let's work on one more problem. A certain snack bar contains 15 grams of fat. If one gram of fat is equivalent to nine food calories, how many joules of chemical energy is stored in the 15 grams of fat? So we have the grams of fat. We need to convert it to food calories. And then we could convert that to calories and then convert it to joules. So if you want to try the problem, feel free. So one snack bar has 15 grams of fat. And we have the conversion factor between grams of fat and food calories. Now we know that one gram of fat contains nine food calories. And so we could cancel these two units. And one food calorie is equal to 1,000 calories. And one calorie is 4.184 joules. So 
So let's go ahead and get the answer. So it's going to be 15 times 9 times 1,000 times 4.184. And so this is going to be 564,840 joules. And so that's it.